telegram group so on the telegram group i have i have uh, uh, given the playlist and on that playlist you will find all the recordings of the previous sessions theek hai chaliye so these are the topics which we will study jinko hum padhenge now the time for the mcqs so please read this question take uh, some time and then i will start the poll box uske baad main aapka poll box start karunga okay good so what is answer to this question in this question we can see there are the three options income tax act yes this is definitely part of the direct tax code wealth tax act basically this act this was abolished on uh abolished by budget of 2067 therefore this act no longer exist corporate tax is already part of income tax act so there is no separate legislation for the corporate tax corporate tax ke liye koi separate legislation nahi hai right so what is answer answer is option a answer is option a basically अखिलेश रंजन कमेटी अखिलेश रंजन कमेटी सबमिटेड द ड्राफ्ट डायरेक्ट एक्स कोड टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द पर्पज इज टू रिवाइज कॉन्सोलिडेट एंड सिंप्लीफाई द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्स लॉज इन द इंडिया एंड इट विल रिप्लेस द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट ठीक है वेल्थ टैक्स एक्ट इज नो लॉन्गर एक्सिस्टेंस इट इज नो लॉन्गर एक्सिस्टिंग The answer is option A, one only A, only A option A. Next question. please give the answer in the poll box
everyone please give the answer So there is a tie between A and D. Equal number of people have given the same, given the different uh, answers. Answer is option option three, all of the above, right? Sabka Vishwas scheme. This scheme was proposed in the budget of 2019. The purpose is to resolve all disputes relating to the earliest. Erstwhile service tax and central excise act, which are now part of the GST. The schemes will be for taxpayers who wish to close their pending disputes, and it covers additional 26 enactments. Right. So the GST was introduced on 1st of July 2017. Before GST, there were various laws, for example, service tax act. And there were various, various disputes going on between the taxpayer and the tax department. The dispute about uh, amount, how should, how much should be the tax payment, the dispute about whether uh, service tax is applicable on particular uh, transaction or not. So to resolve all those disputes, this scheme was started. Okay? And this scheme also covers other 26 annexments. So, in this enactment, 26 more acts are covered apart from the Central Excise Act. So we can see this Textile Committee Act also, Sugar Sass Act also, these are the laws covered. So answer is option three, all of the above. Central Excise Act, Textile Committee Act, Sugar Sass Act, all of them are covered here. Polmi is asking, sir, uh, if we don't have the information that wealth tax was abolished, then how to guess the correct answer? There is no other way to uh, guess the correct answer in this particular question because uh, this is a like if we don't have the information, then definitely we cannot have any other guess because in that case you will be marking wealth tax also. Okay, next question, please see on your screen. In case you are using, using the mobile phone, please keep your mobile phone in the horizontal manner so that you can uh, see the screen completely. Otherwise, if you keep like that, if you keep in the vertical form, then your screen will be only uh, 30 to 40%. Okay? So keep your mobile phone in the horizontal manner. Otherwise, I will recommend, please use your uh, computer system, laptop. Please give the answer. So answer to this question is option D, 
and uh, fortunately you have marked most of you have given the right answer very good answer is option d 1 2 3 and 4 right so what is adjusted gross revenue basically the department of telecom the department of telecom it charges सम अमाउंट फ्रॉम द टेलीकॉम कंपनीज जो टेलीकॉम कंपनीज होती है उनसे कुछ अमाउंट चार्ज करते हैं ये राइट सो देर वॉज अ डिस्प्यूट देर वॉज अ डिस्प्यूट अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस चार्ज राइट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस charge this charge is for uh, spectrum and this charge is also for the license theek hai so license is given by the department of telecom for operation of the telecom services by the telecom companies and spectrum is also allocated right so spectrum usage charges and license charges two kind of charges are to be paid by the telecom companies now these charges are paid as a percentage of the adjusted gross revenue right what is the meaning of revenue revenue means so there, there has been a there has been a uh, controversy about what is the meaning of revenue revenue ka matlab kya hota hai usi ke bare mein controversy hai hai na this all controversy is about that only right so uh, if we talk about what is the meaning of revenue adjusted gross revenue telecom department that is a department of telecom and the telecom companies they have two different kind of view the department of telecom says all revenues of the telecom company the telecom company says only revenue from core business of telecom company core business the business of providing the telecom services so there are other income for example income from interest income from sale of assets right income from rent there are various other uh, income also telecom companies are saying that this is should not be taken as the part of the adjusted gross revenue only and only the core telecom business and the revenue from that should be taken as a adjusted gross revenue department of telecom is saying all the core non core everything should be taken right so there was a controversy matter went to the supreme court supreme court ruled against the telecom companies and in favor of the department of telecom theek hai so this was the controversy about the adjusted gross revenue so adjusted gross revenue calculation is what the government and the telecom majors have done a major disagreement since 2005 telecom companies argue agr should include only income from the telecom operations dot says it should include the non telecom income sale of uh, income from sale of asset interest on deposit rent right so this was the controversy between the two supreme court has upheld the definition of dot department of telecom that means the telecom companies have to pay a huge amount of 92642 crore because of which the 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 very existence of the companies like vodafone has uh, been questioned 
कि वो जिंदा रह पाएंगी या नहीं रह पाएंगे बिकॉज दिस इज ए वेरी वेरी बिग अमाउंट ये बहुत बड़ा अमाउंट है दिस ए जी आर इज यू नो यूज फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग स्पेक्ट्रम एज वेल एज लाइसेंसिंग चार्जेस एंड दिस कैन बी रेंजिंग बिटवीन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू एट परसेंट रेस्पेक्टिवली ठीक है एनी डाउट इन द ए जी आर एनी डाउट बाई एनी वन सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी All of the above, as per the Department of Telecom, all of the above. ठीक है. Okay. Now, there is a term dividend distribution tax. This term has been in use because the budget, because the budget 2020 has introduced some changes. तो बजट 2020 ने कुछ चेंजेस इंट्रोड्यूस किए हैं जस्ट लिसन टू द कॉन्वर्सेशन फर्स्ट एंड देन आफ्टर यू स्टडी यू रीड दिस पीपीटी पीपीटी अभी मत पढ़ो आप फर्स्ट प्लीज रीड द प्लीज लिसन टू द कॉन्वर्सेशन व्हिच आई एम गिविंग टू यू ठीक है तो बेसिकली व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिविडेंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टैक्स सो बेसिकली एनी कंपनी फॉर एग्जांपल द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी इज रिलायंस लिमिटेड ठीक है this company is distributing the profits to its shareholders this profit is called dividend because uh, this shareholder they get one part or one division of the profit therefore this is called dividend that is one division of the profit ठीक है नाउ दिस इज द इनकम फॉर द शेयर होल्डर ये शेयर होल्डर की इनकम है सो आइडियली द शेयर होल्डर शुड बी पेइंग द इनकम टैक्स शेयर होल्डर जो है वो इनकम टैक्स पे करना चाहिए ठीक है बट शेयर होल्डर इज नॉट सपोज टू पे द टैक्स द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ पेइंग द टैक्सेस हैज बीन पुट on the reliance limited itself so reliance limited will be paying the dividend distribution tax ddt whenever it distributes the tax to the shareholders whenever it distributes the dividend to the shareholder right so jab bhi shareholder ko ye dividend distribute karenge it has to pay the dividend distribution tax to the central government to the income tax department right so it is a basically direct tax it is basically पार्ट ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स ये इनकम टैक्स का पार्ट है ठीक है तो दिस वॉज दिचुएशन विच वॉज एग्जिस्टिंग अर्लियर राइट नाउ यू कैन आस्क ए क्वेश्चन सर वाई शेयर होल्डर आर नॉट सपोज टू पे द टैक्स वाई रिलायंस लिमिटेड इज पेइंग द टैक्स द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज इट इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रेस शेयर होल्डर शेयर होल्डर माइक Uh, escape from the tax the shareholder might not report the income in the return jo shareholder hai wo income return na, na kare aisa bhi ho sakta hai theek hai so to uh, control that thing it is the responsibility of the company itself ki jo bhi aap dividend pay karoge aap hi tax pay karoge it is not the shareholder shareholder tax pay nahi karega right so in this way the tax evasion which could have been done by the shareholder that is saved so isliye the the burden is upon the reliance limited not upon the shareholder now now there is one more term jisko hum bolte hain buyback of shares theek hai to main aapko bata de raha hu what is buyback of shares this is the buyback of share प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी वेरी केयरफुल्ली प्लीज इसको भी आप बहुत ध्यान से समझो सो वॉट हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ बाय बैक कंपनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस रिलायंस लिमिटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस रिलायंस लिमिटेड इट हैज इश्यूड द शेयर टू द शेयर होल्डर इन द फ्यूचर it is quite possible the company can take back the shares from the 
shareholder and give the money back to the shareholder so this is called buy back so first in the first step reliance company issues the shares to the shareholder in the second step the shareholder sells the share back to the reliance and reliance gives the money okay now what is what is the what was happening uh, so basically at the time of distribution of tax so please understand that there was some tax evasion going on jiski wajah se ye budget ke andar humne change kiya tha theek hai so because of some uh, you know some problem uh, which companies started doing some tax evasion which companies started doing in this transaction because of those transaction the 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 the, the budget introduced the change budget ne ye change introduce kiya so what was the problem how the tax evasion was being done by the companies companies dwara tax evasion kis tarah se kiya ja raha tha let me tell you so basically if reliance india limited gives the dividend to the shareholder for example mr a then it is it is supposed to pay dividend distribution tax dividend distribution tax pay karna hoga theek hai so instead of giving the dividend in this manner reliance started giving the income to the mr a suppose mr a had 100 shares so reliance india limited this company will say that please give me back 10 shares suppose the market value of these shares is 20 rupees per share but this reliance company will buy these shares at 50 rupees jo reliance company hai the market price is 20 rupees but reliance will pay mr a rupees 50 per share right so this 30 rupees extra this is nothing but indirect payment of dividend through the buyback transaction theek hai so through buyback transaction the reliance company has has been able to evade to save the dividend distribution tax kyunki inhone dividend distribute nahi kiya instead of distributing the dividend they have purchased their own shares from the shareholder at a high price and they have paid high price to mr a so in this way this dividend distribution tax was being evaded by the companies and that is why that is why this dividend distribution tax has been shifted to the shareholder now theek hai so now the companies will not be paying the dividend distribution tax rather the shareholder will be paying the dividend distribution tax this is the one change second the second change is that even in case of buyback the tax is to be paid by the company to so, agar buyback karoge aap to aapko tax pay karna padega right so this is what has been done in the budget theek hai so union budget 2020 has introduced these two changes that buyback of shares will attract the tax at the rate of 20% theek hai but this is applicable only for the unlisted companies what is the meaning of unlisted company those companies which are not listed in the stock exchange whose shares cannot be cannot be uh, you know purchased and sold in the secondary market second change dividend distribution tax has been shifted to the individuals instead of company so earlier reliance india limited was paying the tax now mr a is paying the tax right so you can see the situation after the budget if the company is domestic unlisted then company has to pay a 20% income tax on the buyback but for foreign company there is no such tax right any question from this concept this concept was little bit tricky therefore uh, there, there may be a possibility that some of you have some doubt please ask me the doubt if you have some doubts 
please ask in the chat box everyone understood yes or no you can say yes if you understood i want the answer from everyone please say yes if you understood the concept very good very intelligent group of students i am so happy so how many number of hours ramashis i have uploaded that class also that is already in the playlist second 22nd may class don't worry but still i will see again but i know it is available there i have uploaded my myself that is why i know theek hai chaliye now please see the question on the screen and tell me the answer please give the answer everyone please give the answer only 12 out of 17 has given the answer chaliye so most of you have given the correct answer answer is option b only gst council consists of union finance minister union minister of state finance the minister in charge of finance or tax session or another minister nominated by the state government rbi governor is not part of the gst council okay next question on your screen please read the question carefully please give the answer in the chat in the poll box
so most of you have given the correct answer answer is option option b that is one and two right so gst is proposed to be a dual levy where the central government will levy and collect central gst and state will levy and collect state gst on the intra state supply what is the meaning of intra state within the state within the state so from one place to another place within the same state gst council dictates tax rate tax exemption tax laws keeping in mind special rates and the provision for the some states center it levies center levies the igst on the interstate interstate supply so if the supply is happening from up to mp or maharashtra to punjab that is interstate so in this is called interstate supply and on this integrated gst is levied is par integrated gst levy kiya jata hai so answer is option b one and two only next question on your screen please give the answer so how many number of hours are you studying in a day you can give the answer in the chat box just write the number of hours 8 9 10 15 okay good are you going to follow the revision plan which i gave you if you yes then uh, we can have the sessions regularly the sessions of the revision plan according to the revision plan i i can give you uh, the number of chapters on a daily basis so do you want to have the target from my side if yes if yes then please say yes so that i can make one excel file and i can try to make uh, like i can try i can try to give the target to you even i can ask you the random questions from those targets so do, do you want to have the revisionary sessions but i need uh, the more number of people okay so i will give the target according to the re revision plan which i shared so in the first in the first part we will complete geography and uh, we will complete some current affairs okay good the most of you have given the correct answer very intelligent group of students i am so happy so answer is option a that is one only so this was in news because of uh, this 15th finance commission which is headed by the nk singh so this is also important the finance commission which is headed by the nk singh he said that the working of gst council and the finance commission should be uh, you know should be coordinated with each other the functions of the gst council to decide the rates exemption threshold limit chairman is union minister of finance members are union minister of state for finance state finance minister or other minister nominated by the state government voting rights center has one third of the total vote vote cast state has two third and each state equal vote that is one okay gst council it can tell which taxes will be subsumed which goods and services will be taxed or exempted modal gst law threshold limit what is the meaning of threshold limit that is how much amount of sale will should be exempted for example till 20 lakh there will be no tax what should be the rate of tax etc so now which taxes have been subsumed in the gst so center and state these are the list of taxes so we have discussed all these now the next question on your screen
this is the question of common sense Only 10 out of 19 have given the answer. Please give the answer, everyone. Everyone, please give the answer. Answer is option A. That is one only. But my, most of you have given the wrong answer. Anyways, let us understand. So basically, what is CBIC, Central Board of Indirect Tax and Custom? So this is the topmost body which is responsible for all the indirect taxes, okay? like GST, for example, GST. So there are various import and export transaction. On this transaction, the custom duty is levied. Okay? Custom duty is basically import duty or export duty. The taxation on the import and export of goods. Okay. So for calculating this custom duty, uh, these transactions which are happening in the foreign currency, for example, in the dollar, what should be the rate of dollar, rate of exchange? So rate of exchange is fluctuating very, very fast. So which exchange rate should be taken for calculation of the value? on which this custom duty can be calculated that is decided by the central board of indirect taxes and the custom cbic so this statement is correct right so this is not about the rate of exchange very very simple like this is not talking about the how much like how like how this exchange rate between the uh, rupee dollar is decided no that is done by the market forces who market force karti hai but here we are calc we are we are talking about relating to imported go imported and go export goods on which the custom duty is calculated okay second statement cbic is part of the department of revenue because this is concerned with the taxes so this is part of the department of revenue this is not part of the department of expenditure so answer is option a one only okay Next question on your screen, please give the answer. Sorry.
everyone please give the answer okay good so most of you have given the good answer right answer the right answer is option b 1 and 2 so basically national anti profiting authority this is a statutory mechanism under the gst law any consumer can file the complaint and complaint can be filed both offline and offline so answer is option 1 and 2 now why this has been in news because naa it gave some order about johnson and johnson and uh, it was stated by the delhi court that even the tenure of the naa has been extended by 2 years why what is the need of naa so basically because of the gst there have been reduction in the tax rate on many goods and services secondly the mechanism of input tax credit was introduced and because of this the final price for the customer they go, they should be decreased but in many cases it was observed that many companies they are not uh giving the benefit of reduction in the tax rate to the customer for example if the rate of gst is 10 uh, like 12% on one item after some time this gst rate was reduced to 0% so the final price of the goods should come down jo final price hai wo niche kam ho jana chahiye but in reality this does not happen because the company the the wholesaler or the manufacturer or retailer anyone anyone manipulated the prices and the customer did not get the benefit of the reduction in the tax rate similarly the input tax credit was not available before gst but now in input tax credit is available that means the tax liability has been reduced so final price bhi kam hone chahiye aapke lekin final price kam nahi kiye gaye चाहे वो कंपनी हो मैन्युफैक्चरर रिटेलर होलसेलर सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ देम मैन्युपुलेट द प्राइसेस, देन दिस नेशनल एंटी प्रॉफिटेरिंग अथॉरिटी कैन टेक द एक्शन अगेंस्ट देम ठीक है दिस अथॉरिटी इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर द एक्ट सो दिस इज ए स्टैचुटरी अथॉरिटी दिस इज नॉट ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अथॉरिटी प्लीज टेक केयर प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी वेरी केयरफुल्ली दिस इज नॉट ए constitutional authority this is a statutory authority theek hai so what kind of order can be given kis tarah ka order de sakti hai ye naa so it can ask to reduce the prices it can even ask to return the amount with the interest at the rate of 18% so if some wholesaler manufacturer retailer has collected the extra amount then such amount can be refunded to the customer along with the interest it can also levy the penalty it can also cancel the cancel the registration of the supplier theek hai and if the customer is not identifiable theek hai suppose the refund is to be done by the you know uh, by the seller but the customer is not traceable customer traceable nahi hai in that case this amount can be deposited in the consumer welfare fund a consumer welfare fund hota hai in that fund this amount can be deposited right so this is the provision of the naa theek hai so you can see the power to reduce the prices or return the undue benefit or if the benefit cannot be passed that is customer is not traceable then the amount can be deposited in the customer welfare fund even the penalty can be levied so answer is option b1 and b only okay after that there are the couple of concept about the foreign taxation uh this base erosion and profit shifting i will discuss these concept tomorrow